Hi, it's Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts, and today I'm making a 12 by 12 layout. And the only thing I knew before starting this layout is the paper stack that I wanted to use, which is Heidi Swaps. And I wanted to use this photo and this cut from the silhouette, which I'll put a link to the design number down in the description box. This is a gorgeous paper pad from Heidi Swap, so I'm just kind of looking through it and deciding which one I want to use. And as soon as I saw this black and white striped one, I knew that I wanted to use that. So I'm just pulling out some coordinating papers. I'm going to cut down my 12 by 12. I'm not measuring, I'm just eyeballing it, taking a little bit off because I want to put a white background to it to leave a little bit of a white border to match my photo. The photo I printed out, as you can see in black and white, I cut, I printed it to four by five, and I also printed a white mat to four and a quarter by five and a quarter. I'm adding some medium weight chipboard behind it just to give it a little bit of dimension. And that silhouette cut there is cut from Basil Whirlpool. It's a gorgeous color. So now I'm just cutting some paper to go as mats behind my photo as well. I'm tearing the ends of one of them. This um, layout sort of evolved as it went. Like I said, I, I only had a few things in mind that I wanted to do, so I just kind of played once I had all the papers out. And I love that word, moments. I don't end up using it on this layout, but I do love that. So once I had everything in place, I just went ahead and stapled it so it stayed together exactly where I wanted it. I'm going to lay down my pattern paper and then quickly glue this down. I'm using Scotch Quick Dry. And then once I get that in place, I'm going to staple that directly to my layout as well. This is a stencil that I already had cut out in my stash, so I was just kind of working it around to see where I could use it. So I'm going to add a few to the bottom right and then those to the top. I'm pulling out some DCWV glitter cardstock, the silver, and I'm using a Fiskars scallop punch to punch out a portion of it that I'm going to tuck beside my photo. And I decided I want a little bit to peek out under the photo, so I just added some to that bottom right of the photo, and then I'm replacing the tape over it, so when I glue it down, it's adhered very well. So I'm using a little ATG and adding that scallop to the left side. And again, I thought I was going to use this, so I, I backed it with some glitter cardstock to see how I liked that. And I did like it, but in the end, I, I chose a different title. As you can see here, I printed out another photo. I just thought the one was a little too dark. So I lightened it up a little bit and glued that right on top of the other photo. And I was happier with the exposure on it. So I cut this title out from the same Basil cardstock. It says, love this moment, and I love that phrase. Again, I don't end up using it on this layout, but I just wasn't happy with it, but I do love that um, title. I'll also link that down in the description box. I got that from the online Silhouette store. So again, thinking I was gonna go with that title, I wanted to back it with some of that pink heart paper to tie in the hearts and also tie in the silver glitter paper. I'm using my Tim Holtz distressing tool and 
distressing the edges of it. I was going to, being that I decided not to use the title, I was going to edit that all out so you didn't have to watch this, but I thought it was good that you see how sometimes layouts or scrapbook pages um, or cards, whatever you're making, they just sort of evolve like as you're going. And I can save this for another project. So I thought of leaving it in. So I'm just adding glue to the back of my little stencil hearts, tucking that behind there. I'm pulling out some of these pretty flory flowers. These are new from Wild Orchid Crafts, fairly new, and they're Christmas flowers, but as you can see, they work with other things besides Christmas, and I absolutely love them. So I'm pulling out some wild roses, and right now, it seems like it changes on a monthly basis, but right now those are my favorite. Um, pretty much any product from Wild Orchid Craft is my favorite, along with this lace. This is the Guy Pure Lace. And I'm just tucking that under my photo. I'm going to tuck it in a few places around my layout. Again, just to tie it all in together. I'm using some Fabri-Tac to tack it down. And I think this is when I um, decide, right after this, I decide not to even use this title. So I'm just kind of placing some flowers around, trying to decide what I want to use. And those are the baby pink center, white and baby pink center wild, wild roses. I'll have all the products linked in the description box. These are some silver filigree corners from Wild Orchid Crafts. So I use some glossy accents to add the, to my photo. And I love those as well. I guess I haven't decided yet not to use the title. I pulled out some ivory open roses. And I like leaving the stems. You can cut the stems off. I like leaving them on them there and curling them. Here are some sweetheart blossoms. And again, these are some of my favorites. They're great filler flowers to kind of tuck in places. They come in all different colors as well, but I'm using the white ones. Those are my favorite. And these are gorgeous cottage roses. Those are some of my favorite as well. I tucked in a little bit of that same lace up at the top there. And now I pulled out some, um, diff a different title. It says Beautiful Memories in Wood. And I was much happier with that. I also have a little bow. I'll link that in the description box. I cut that out from the Cameo as well, from the same silver glitter paper. And I took a couple pictures so I knew where everything went because I was pretty happy with the placement. So I took some pictures to refer to later. And now I'm using some picket fence distressing and just lightly going over those wooden um, wording and that little clock. I just didn't want them, I wanted them to have a little bit of a white look to them. But I also didn't want them to be stark white. So I went ahead and placed on my photo. Again, I'm using some Fabri-Tac and I will place down my wood chips, tucking that clock right behind the photo. And now I'm going to place everything down with just a little bit of E6000 and hot glue. Hot glue will adhere it immediately while the E6000 is drying, but once you use E6000 for anything, it will not come up. That is strong stuff. You want to be careful though, and if you use it um, in a closed room, you can end up getting a headache from it. It's pretty strong smell. So I placed a little piece of scrap paper over my photo just to try to avoid hot glue strings. If you've ever gotten hot glue over a photo, it's really hard to get off. So you'll see me kind of take away the paper and put it back on um, just so sometimes I need to kind of see where I'm placing things, but I'm being very, very careful not to get hot glue on my photo because I've ruined photos that way before. So again, I'm using some chipboard pieces, a little clock hands that I'm tucking in there. I also use the picket fence distress paint on them as well. And I'm curling all my stems from the flowers. You can cut those off as well, but I'm curling them using just an old piercing 
tool. You can use a paintbrush, a pencil, anything you want. So again, on all my flowers, I'm adding a little bit of E6000 with the hot glue and just placing it down. I'm referring to my photo on my phone for the most part. Again, I even as I do this, I kind of change things around slightly. So this, this um, layout is very dimensional, which I love doing dimensional layouts. This I will be hanging on my wall in my scrapbook room, so I didn't have to worry about placing it in a photo album. So I glued down those little hearts and my lace, and again I'll add my flowers. I get asked a lot what which hot glue gun I use. I use the Aileen's Ultimate Glue Gun. It comes with, I think, three different tips. It comes in like a little toolbox, I guess you could say, a little um, case. And it has three different tips that you can switch out. I always use the same tip, but I absolutely love that glue gun. Here I am adding a crown pin in white from Wild Orchid Crafts. They, they're beautiful. And you may have seen me using these loop pearl loop sprays recently. These are some of my favorite to use right now as well. I just got them and I love them. You can kind of bend and shape them how you like. So I'm just tucking a few of those in. I added a pearl, to, a pearl brad to the center, and being that I had already adhered down my bow, I just bent the prongs out one way, added some E6000 and hot glue and glued it down. And now I'm using some silver flat back sparkles. I got those from Hobby Lobby. Just adding a few here and there. They come with sticky on the back, but I'm removing the sticky and using E6000. This way I know they will never fall off. And now I'm adding um, some pearls, flat back pearls, to those wood pieces where the holes are, just to finish them off. I'm using the white and ivory pack, the ivory ones from them. Adding a little E6000 to them. And I knew that I needed a few hip rosebuds to just kind of tuck in a few places where there were um, a little bit of holes, you could say. And those were the perfect finish to this layout. So I made sure to add a few in all three of the clusters. For one last finishing touch, I added one of the diamond circles with pearl brad in the center. And I'm taking my um, heat tool to get rid of any hot glue strings. And I was careful not to get my photo. So this is one of those little hangers um, you can pick up from pretty much anywhere. I think Walmart, my husband had them in the garage, so he got one for me. And this I can use to hang on my wall. I just cut it out with my crop dial I'm adding a lot of E6000 right under where the brads go, and then I'm just using little brads that I had in my stash to tuck them through, and then I will add my layout to it, and that completes it. So I hope you've enjoyed today's process. Thanks so much for stopping by, and you'll find links to everything in the description box. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I hope you stop by Wild Orchid Crafts. Thanks for watching.